You're trying to cover a nasty seat, Ron. Huh? You're trying to cover a nasty oh, seat. I know. You like that mag armor on the side? I do. It's my Father's Day. Father's Day present from my family. Yeah, that's interesting. <laughs> Simple stuff. Oh! <laughs> What's up? What's up? Y'all want to go to car shopping? Who wants to go Jeep shopping? Oh, hell, they still got the gate locked over here. I'm going to go out this side. Yeah, yeah, Tunis, you weren't up. You suck. We're going Jeep shopping. Tunis, here. More, here, let's take one last look at Mr. McNasty. Let's go. Let's go Jeep shopping. Since I'm, uh, since I'm getting an oil change. We're gonna walk around this mofo. I seen some good-looking Jeeps out here, Tony. You know the good place about this place? You get to feel your Yeti. They got drinks. They got. Let's see here. They got coffee. They got cappuccino. They got uh, hot dogs here in a little while. Hold on. Technically, you're up my ass. You were bu That's bullshit. You're such a liar. You're such a liar. I think they got about, I don't know, 10 or 15 Jeeps out here. Let's go look. Y'all might want to buy one. I'm not trading Mr. McNasty in. Mr. McNasty's. He's my He's not going anywhere. Man, where's jo uh, Josh? Get that prick up. Text him. Tell him to get his ass out of bed. I like that when they got on the lift over here, boys and girls. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Well, they got about 15. Let's we'll start down here on the end. They have one in, they have one in the uh, showroom. I bought mine off showroom for in West Virginia. They have one in the showroom and uh, they ain't changed them a whole lot. They did change like this, this tweeter speakers up in the dash. Shag seat covers, Jesus Christ. Excuse me. More room out than there is in. Alright, here you go. Here's a two door. Here's a two door, y'all. I like it Sahara rack. See those rims? See, everybody gets black rims with silver bolts and nuts and shit on it. I mean, all black. All black this thing out. Look at that. Plastic. Won't protect nothing. Looks like brand new springs on that sucker. Hey, that's yellow, y'all. That is like real yellow. Looks pretty good. It's got Pro Comp shocks on it, coming stock. It's got a rack on top. I wish mine would have had a rack on top. I wish I could see that rack. See, it's the only one they got here with the rack on it, too. I'd like to see how that rack's mounted up there, and I can't get up there. I'm not climbing up there. I'm in flip-flops. So I'll break my... Man, y'all, I'm going to show y'all something. Y'all got to see this. Check out this, Tunis. Man, y'all gonna think I'm crazy. Do y'all see that dragonfly that's stuck on that antenna? 
Do y'all see that? Now, okay. I thought he was dead there for a minute. He flew away. There's something about dragonflies. They like to land on them antennas. They like to land on the antennas. It's weird. All right, check this out. I would have kept these rims on my Jeep, you all, if they'd have had these on here stock. Just a black, normal black rim. See, I had the silver ones, like down, right down there. It's just like this one, but silver. That's why I bought new ones. Check this out. A rag top. This is a 2015. Are you kidding me? Check these out, boys and girls. That's a good look one. It's got aftermarket fenders. Uh, it's got aftermarket uh, tail light covers. That's a used Jeep. There's a 2017. That's a pretty collar. My best friend up in West Virginia who's moving down here with me, like next year, hopefully. This is a 2015, y'all. It's got aftermarket. It's got 32,000 miles on it. There's your one right there, Tunis. That's what you want right there. 32,000. I bet you it's probably 20, $28,000. Look at how pretty that is. Oh, man. 5,100 miles. Chief clear coat. Is that the, that's what they call that collar. And see, look here. All that black on there. And then they put them silver hand. And look back here, you all. A black one. Is that not stupid? Silver handles and a black one on the back. Now, let me tell you all what. I can design these Jeeps. That's what I need to start doing, y'all. Need to start me a business down here. And I, well, oh my God, there's a Rubicon over here. It looks good. I need to start me a business down here. Getting Jeeps. Buying, going to the auction, buying Jeeps. Stock Jeeps. And then bringing them back and lifting them and doing all that shit. And I can't do it. I'll hire people to do it. Heck with them. Here's a Willys. These Jeeps don't come to running boards sometimes, y'all. But this Willie's is nice. Damon, Chief Jones, Leon Valley, News Now, Houston. News Now, Sweden. Hey, News Now, Sweden, you feeling better? You should have came on the Flow Show last night. You'd have been feeling really good. I hope you're feeling better. I know why you're upset, I believe. I believe it's just all this arrest and all this crap, you know. Don't let it get to you, dude. Nothing me and you can do but keep making phone calls. That one's got uh, running boards. I still like that blue collar, but see, like I say, they put all that silver in there. Look, I don't know. Black, and black, 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 black. Oh, that Jeep says Gypsy Garage. That's cool as shit. All right, y'all. Check it out. It's a 2016 with 57,000 miles on it. Mine's getting ready to turn 100,000 this week. All right, here's this red. And it's red. You know, it's red. It sucks. It's still got stock rims on it. 41,000 miles on it. Rubicon. Check it out. Johnson City, Tennessee, Gypsy Garage. Now, why it's got that on there, it's got cool uh, hood uh, insert, grill inserts. I like the grill inserts. None of these other have them. It's the thing about Jeeps, you all. You can put so much shit on them. Let's see. Red's a cop magnet. I'm glad you're good, News Now Sweden. Uh, just to let you know, I'm getting my oil changed. Um, you all, um, I called here at this dealership, Bill Bryan, uh, real nice people. And I called one time where I came in and I saw a guy named Ron. And Ron said, uh, I can, uh, 
Lon said, I can hook you up. I have four changes for 120 plus tax and I'm like y'all that's thirty dollars in oil change in my Jeep with the oil filter and everything I'm like you can't beat it he said now I'm gonna throw you in a fifth for free I'm like well hell I, I'm on that so that's what I did well I called one day and last time I don't know after the last time I was here I had a fifth oil change free my fifth one the one I'm getting right now and I talked to, to a different guy, and that guy was, you know, I've been a salesman for 30, 30 years, y'all. And uh, I would never give a customer the feeling the way I was talking to him like, like this, the guy did. And he flat out told me, no, we don't do that anymore. No more oil, five oil changes for taxing all 129. I said, okay, I'll just go somewhere else. No big deal. So I just showed up, talked to Ron, and when I showed up, I said, yeah, I need to know if I got my fifth one. He goes, yeah, you got your fifth one free he said but uh, uh and i said well here's the deal last time i was in here you rotated my tires he goes yeah i see that i said you left one of my air caps off now not you but your guys left one of my air caps off and it cost me ten dollars i have to go buy a cut pack of them he said he'd take care of me and he also told me he'd give me that five oil changes again for the same price he would honor so bill bryan Chrysler Jeep. If I have to buy a new Jeep, I'll be buying it from here. Um, right here is a Wrangler Unlimited Sport, you all. Uh, I don't care for the rims. I like that topper, the way it's rolled over. I guess it's a new style of topper. Uh, damn, that's a good look. And they're putting two open country tires on it. Man, that thing looks good. Let's go down through here. I think there's a couple more. Yeah, here's another cop magnet, Tunis. See, I, somebody buy me one of these. Need this for my Jeep right here. One in all black, but not, not silver screws. See, the all Jeep, and they put, put it so it has Allen screws to take it out. What the hell is that? What is that? I'm just trying to replace a window or something. That's weird. That is real weird. Cobwebs everywhere. Got another Rub two Rubicon. Oh, why do they make the red ones so good looking? Red is so ugly. Y'all know that red's always the cheaper in the car lots. Look, here's two brand new Jeeps and no running. Here's one with no running boards on it. Yeah, well, who's going to buy that? And if you know what? There's some with partial running boards. I don't even know what that is. I've seen them before. Man, there's nothing spectacular about this Rubicon. It's just got a customized hood on it. It's got the new topper. It does have the new type topper. I like this new type topper, the way it's rolled over, y'all. See how it's lipped out there? These toppers don't have that lip out over here. That one does. Fuel cover. Why well, didn't nothing special? No running boards. There again. That, that hood's awesome though. I like that hood. Let's see what kind of headlights it's got. Oh hell. It's got the custom headlights, y'all. That's not the ones I want. I'm buying some halos. Ain't that a bunch of halo? That was a stupid joke. Don't laugh at it. Don't make fun of me either. I don't know what color that is. That's not even gray, steel gray like mine. And there's an ugly red one. They'll have that one for years, you all. They'll be stuck with that Jeep. They're going to have to send it back or send it somewhere across the nation. Probably to California. California, they'll buy all red vehicles. That is ugly. That's just ugly. I wouldn't buy that. I wouldn't spend. I wouldn't spend my hard on money on a on a vehicle that looked that nasty. That's ugly looking. Y'all, I've been out here for I don't know how long I've been out here. But nobody's even came out here. 
I don't guess I look like a, uh, a per oh shit, god damn it, they need to run somebody out here in the parking lot and get all the cobwebs out, I just ran through a damn cobweb, man, uh, you know, I am, I am. I got to see a bunch of Jeeps, but none of them look like Mr. McNasty. That's why I'm keeping Mr. McNasty. Dude, like my mag armor. He said it looks sweet. If y'all weren't in here, Joe Black won last night. Guess that riff. All right, I've seen enough Jeeps. Those tank traps, uh, uh, the uh, tank uh, tracks, to hell with that. Y'all, it adds so much weight. You can go anywhere, you can climb a damn tree with it. It's like having a damn backhoe. Backhoe for a Jeep, you can go anywhere. I don't need that shit. That shit's too much money. Like I say, it's a lot of weight. I like to see how it articulates. You know how uh, tracks would articulate. Y'all gotta see what they're selling down here. Check this shit out. Y'all gonna trip on this shit. These are called gems. J E M. And they're selling them. Check this shit out. Isn't that crazy? Why you got why is she gonna park right there? Look at the cobwebs in there, y'all. There's so many cobwebs under here. See that right there. Great guy. You think you got the front seat of that thing. <laughs> Dude, that's not a golf cart stick. I'm gonna show you. I, I know what the golf cart is. Good ball. See that shit, tennis? This is a vehicle. This is not a golf cart. It's not a fucking golf cart. You, you know what? I don't know anybody. I think you smoke crack. Check it out. Spiders. Oh my god, look how big that one is. I about walked into that one. 2018 GME for 25 mile per hour top speed, the street legit capabilities. Be right back, folks. It's not a golf cart, Tony. I mean, you would think it would be. There's so many spiders, y'all. Check that one out. And that spider at my house last night, I, I caught a beetle and threw it in there. And when I threw it, I threw it right at the damn spider. It didn't have to move, and I mean it cocooned that son of a bitch in about 30 seconds. 30 seconds it was cocooned. Now, I'm going to take you over and show you a golf cart, too. This is a golf cart. Just crackhead. Crack smoker. Crack liquor. <laughs> Team. Teen girls in cities are 40 year old guys who drink too much soy sugar. <laughs> All right, look here. That is a golf cart, my friend. Okay? Over there, that's kind of like a golf cart, but that's one of them, that's one of them things over there. That's what they use down here in the villages. They use those down in the villages. If you're not a golfer, you buy one of those. You know? Anyway. Let's go see if they got any donuts, Tony. Shit. 
some real winner. You know how I love people. Let's go in here and sit down and interview somebody. Y'all want to interview somebody? I'm going to show you this, uh, I'm going to show you this Jeep that got in here. Right, Y'all check this shit out. Check this camera around. Check this place out. That's the bathroom's that way. They got a bunch of pictures and signs and words and shit. Check it out. There's a big waiting area, a little sitting area, a little kitchen. Where you been, Boomer? We're Jeep shopping. Check out this. Showroom. Jeep. This is what I like right here. Look at these speakers. These speakers are, are flat. They're not standing up like mine are. They change a few things on these things. This is Sahara. This is Sahara. Oh, I want to take you all down here and show you this. I wish a Texas vet was in here. I would sign this thing for his name, or uh, in his name. And I still probably could uh, without him being here. Maybe. Check out this right here, y'all. Challenger. Check it out. Isn't that sweet? That's hot right there. That's hot. Whoop. Check it out. Check this out, you all. I can say no more about this, y'all. This is, uh, they're welcome to the veterans. It says, please sign our memorial Jeep in honor of our veterans. Y'all, I have a lot of veterans in here. Uh, it's pretty special. It's been signed everywhere, y'all. Check it out. They put their rank, their name, Don Perrill. Infantry Cook, 82nd Airborne, 501 First Sergeant, 56 through 59. Isn't this cool, y'all? There's the pen, the right? This, uh, yes, this is all original. Um, you know, this obviously somebody took really good garage kept care. There's no interior in it, of course, just two seats, which look like the originals, you know, there's rusty fasteners. Um, rusty fasteners in it, man. It's unbelievable. It's signed everywhere, you all. You're real funny, Tennis. I might buy one of those Easter egg looking cars. Check his top out. Rag top. That's leather, you all. Freaking sweet. This is sweet. They got there's a table there's a table full of biscuits and uh, and uh, hash browns over there. Look, at, look over there. I'm gonna act like I'm showing y'all. Look through there. And that woman. Her ass is two axe handles wide and she's getting sausage biscuits. She probably should drink drinking some water and maybe some fruit or something. Alright, go, sorry. Check it out. It's a three speed or what it is. It's unbelievable, y'all. That's so cool. Resist the hash browns and biscuits. Step away from the hash browns and biscuits. That woman grabbed her hash brown and biscuit and she took off out of here like a uh, 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 Olympic track star. She out of here. We got a drawing going on here too. See? 
Hey, you want to go look at a brand new egg car? Maybe I can get one of them to tell us what the concept is behind this damn thing. I guess it's just an electric car, I guess. Alright, let's go check this out. It's a brand new gym. It's got cloth doors. It's a two-seater. It says uh, 70 mile per hour on the speedometer. 70 miles an hour. <coughs> Check it out. This thing probably cost, I don't know, it's hard to tell how much. Let's look and see how much it costs. Alright, who wants to guess on the price? Manu Manufacturer suggested retail price, and then the dealer freight cost you got to pay. Options, accessories, $6,300 worth of options and accessories. Wow. All right, six thousand. And if that's American, uh, you're uh, you're only on the options, Ian. Thirty-four thousand is okay. It's not that it's not that expensive. It's uh, sixteen thousand, y'all. It's nine thousand base. I'd say the additions are the doors, the the plastic carrier on the back, and the carrier on the, uh, the the plastic carrier holder right here don't get these people here. check it out so that would be for that's for two golf bags uh, I just don't I don't know bless you the dude sneezed and snotted all over his face $69.99 and it probably is Ian I mean look it's $89.99 MSRP on it. So, but like I say, the options add on. You know, if you had a basic one, which I could probably go outside and find a basic one, I'd say they're not selling many of those pieces of shit. Piece of shit. You don't want some back coke? You can go out there. You can go out there. Ian, what's a mini club? Is that a, um, oh, never mind. A mini club is a uh, uh, golf cart. That was stupid of me. Sorry. Hey, <laughs> Get, you all look at my glasses. I'm fogging up where it's so hot out here and muggy. And it's so cool in there. <clears throat> it, yeah, better jump off your wrist and onto your pork sword. And uh, what was it? Give you a uh, stroke, y'all. What is? What was he saying? I can't remember what he said. Something about stroking, y'all. My jeep's still sitting over there, not in. Looks like it's going in next. I should have got here at five o'clock this morning, y'all. I might have been able to get in line in front of all these fools. Hey, you all, guess what? Now, this is a uh, this is a car lot, so what do car salesmen do a lot of, you all? Come on, Ian. You're smart enough to figure this shit out. What do car salesmen do a lot of? Along with doctors. Lawyers do, too, but doctors do it a lot. Come on. Somebody guess. All right. I'm going to give you a little hint. No. Oh, fuck. All right. Look here. I'm going to give you a little hint. There's picnic tables, and it's a smoking area. It's got some benches here. Yeah, you could sit around here and stalk. All right. So here's your view. If 
We're sitting here. This is the service area. Y'all, let's go check his Jeep out, y'all. Somebody just pulled in a Jeep. Let's go check his Jeep out. He's got a rack on it. I'm going to go check it out. He's probably going to be like, who the F for you? Dude, walking around my Jeep. Let's go check it out. All right, I got to answer a question. It's a putting green, you all. These knuckleheads have a four-hole putting green outside in their waiting area. So, if you're smart enough to bring your bring your golf club, uh, your putter, you get in some putting practice while you're here waiting on your vehicle. Let's go check it out. I hope you don't get mad. I think it's these, uh, how they connect on the hood. How is Jack? Is that what you hold your jack with? Uh, is that no, for your the jack? jack is the silver things on the back. Yeah, what's That's this for? Shovel and axe. Shovel and axe. Yeah, it can hold a high lift jack. You can you can put a high lift jack or right. but I use it for a shovel and axe. Right. I'm not sure if I'm keeping it yet. Because you lose your windshield washer yeah. it. Yeah. Like this right here is for the early model, the early JK. Right. Because it had a single um, washer sprayer. I'm live, on, I'm live on YouTube, I got Jeepers on here too. And then this right here though, yeah. I think about leaving those in, I don't want to drill any more holes in the hood, so I was thinking about drilling holes in the side and just running the tube up and running the tube underneath it so I can... You get one of the low heat, low heat hood and have it drilled, probably do that. Yep. So there's a few different options. There's another option, this is a really yet. good option. You're still kind of playing with it. Here's a really good option, if you do away with it. Unhook your hoses, mm -hmm. run them through your firewall, wash out your bottle, fill it full of Jack Daniels, hit your all button. Right, all right, I like that. You like that, don't you, Ron? <laughs> I've got a Jeep too. I've got a 2014 four door. I'm getting a oil. Yeah. I'm getting. They gave me a really good oil change deal. Five oil change for 129 packs and all. Yeah. I can't do it for that much. Yeah. Check it rack out, y'all. Cool rack. I was. Uh, I went to a different dealership, had issues, came down here. I love this place, man. That guy right there will, that guy right there will hook you up. I called and got some other nasty dude on the phone. That man there straightened it out. Yeah, I've been working with Gary. I love Gary. Yeah. Man, thanks for letting me. Hey, no problem. Any more questions? Here you go. Okay. I'll give you my YouTube channel. Card. Fun. No, I'm you looking at me just now like that dude's checking me out. To be honest with you, y'all. My Jeep will go over top of this one. This ain't nothing. There's no lift. This is just a flat Jeep on the ground. He's got some pod lights. I like those rigid pod lights. His have some moisture on the inside just like mine do. Uh, that's a cool rack, you all. Real cool rack. I like that. It's got aluminum piece. You got a CB in there. It's just basic. It's just basic. Nothing big. Nothing, nothing too cool. Let's go back over to Putting Green. I'm going to go take a pee in one of the holes. You all, they get popcorn going in there. They got hot dogs. They get all kind of crazy stuff. Should have brought my selfie stick. Then it makes it look too obvious. Damn it, my Jeep's still not in there. Some of you Jeep enthusiasts in here, I know somebody's got a rear plate for the back of my Jeep. The rear plate. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. If they have a kick holder. All right. Y'all check this out. Now, uh, 
I'm going to show you my mag armor and see it black. There's another dude. See it right there? See how the mag armor is black on that side? Alright. Check out this. This is a vent that all Jeeps have. Back here. These flaps. It's water. If you go into water, it lets water drain out of the cab. Um, exhaust. But see these bolts? Take these bolts out and they make a plate, a black plate that goes over and it's got vents on it too. It's just a kind of cool accent. Y'all look at this accent. That's black electrical tape. What a redneck. There, you can dox me. Elcom. Elcom. L C O M M. Everybody says, what does that mean? Elcom. I don't know. It's what they gave me at the car at the a vehicle registration plate. It's not a specialized plate. It just looks like it appears to be because of the y'all. I'm walking around with a with a um, a notebook in the back of my pants, like I'm carrying my baseball glove around when I was in high school, college, and you had your baseball glove and you fold it and then put it in the back of your pants when you ran around so you didn't have to carry it in your hand. Y'all, let's go walk, uh, let's go walk out on the main road. They're not even close to getting my Jeep in. It's ridiculous. I swear there's five people in that, in that bay. And I don't know what they're all doing. I, you know, I think that's just like a tire rotation shit, but I don't know. You know what else I'm gonna do? They told me it's hundred thousand. It's time for plugs. He's gonna give me a quote on that. See how much they're gonna try to butt. Oop! But said a bad word. You're gonna stick it to me. Y'all wanna look at some Jeep Latitudes, Trailhawks? Hey, uh. Later, bro. Thanks for tuning in this morning and getting out. I know you were going to get up anyway, but thanks for being with me. I'll see you all tonight. We're going to play again tonight. Guess that riffs. Get everybody, bring all your friends, get all your drinks and shit, and let's have a good old time. Oh, let's see here. Trailhawk. Latitude. Here's the Renegades right here, bro. Right here. This is what Zach has, y'all. He's got red. It's cheaper. Like I say, you can get red cheaper. Man, you all, these things have a lot of room in them. And these Jeep compasses aren't too bad either, you all. Those are nice too. There's the latitude. Let's see, the latitude is the middle one. That's what Zach has. There's a uh, cheap one. And there's a, uh, there's a latitude, and then there's a trailhawk. The trailhawk is a shit. God damn it. These fucking spiders, you all. Jesus Christ. Son of a bitch. Fucking spiders, man. Here's a limited. That, my heart just jumped out of my chest, y'all. Woo, shit. Fucking spiders down here in Florida, man. I hate them. Hey, there's a white Jeep over here. I didn't see that. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, man, you all. That one's got the Fox uh, lift suspension in it. Those are parked on the bank. It's white. It's dirty white. It gets dirty. Real dirty. Okay, uh... Man, I'm afraid of spiders, some bitch. Dude... There's some poisonous spiders down here. It's not like up in West Virginia. And they ain't in England either. And I'm telling you, these are poisonous spiders. Black widows are everywhere. Brown recluses are everywhere. Dude, you gotta watch. They'll, they'll make your feet fall off. <laughs> uh, Ian, my, uh, my, um, shit. My Jeep is the, um, Sport Renegade. Um, no it isn't. What am I saying? 
Jesus Christ. Wrangler Unlimited Sport is what mine is. Wrangler Unlimited Sport. There's a latitude. I'm trying to find a Trailhawk, you all. I don't see a Trailhawk. Trailhawk's the, good, the top of the line model of this uh, of this uh, one Jeep. I'm making fun of me, spiders. I'm gonna box you up if you send them to your house. I already got to send Joe Black something away over to UK. Here's the Trailhawk right here. This is the Renegade Trailhawk. This is the top top of the line in the uh, in the Renegade. No, that's Jesus Christ. That's a Cherokee. Jimmy Christmas. Personally, this is just me, you all. I wouldn't buy. Uh oh, Mr. McNasty's going into the garage. I'm walking that way, y'all. Oh shit, damn it. Fucking spider web, y'all. Jimmy Christmas. Driving me crazy. $34,245,000 United States dollar. Mine was, uh, when I bought mine off the showroom floor, mine was, uh, now that's just the manufacturer's suggested retail price. It's got to be. Because um, mine was uh, 34000 and I put down um, 6000 6, cash, and uh, got it down to payments where it started 28000 of course, uh, interest. I've been paying on it since 2014. What was that four year five years four years and uh, I got another year and a half shipping costs and tax what's up eggs hey eggs you've been you're gonna have to go back and watch this video dude I've been looking at Jeeps motherfuckers excuse me they screwed up and left my damn uh, uh, air valve cap off last time I bitched about that to Ron Ron's taking care of me though we're, we're just looking at Jeeps we're looking at Jeeps we're looking at used Jeeps we're looking at people's Jeeps uh, it's hot out here eggs the humidity is ridiculous I know it's probably hotter out there right now but the humidity is it's not dry here it's yeah. Hey, listen, listen, Dave. Oh, oh, sorry. Listen, listen, uh, Eastern PA. You uh, don't start with that spider shit. That's what I'm doing. I'm Jeep working. Yeah, don't start that spider shit, dude. Y'all want me to show you some spiders? Y'all just got in here? Let me show you this shit. Now, let's say you're just strolling along here. You're just strolling along. You're saying, oh. I want to check out one of these new gyms. Little little golf cart looking thing. All right, see it right there? Isn't that cool? Cool little golf cart thing there. Let's see you go. Let's say you're just strolling along, minding your own business. Oh shit! God damn! I just walked into one. And you go to sit in the front seat, and you see that or that. If I got in there and that motherfucker got me, I would run out of here. No, look at this shit. You all? I'm feeling them fuckers all over me. I'm getting willies. Shit's freaking me out. Hey, would you buy one of these eggs? Would you buy one of these? They said it was a golf cart. It ain't no golf cart. My fucking goes 70 mile an hour. Oop, better not get too close. The spiders are nasty. There ain't no golf cart bag on the back of it. I guess you could, yeah, you you can add one on there. These are, these could put a golf cart. I don't think you can take it on a golf cart. They're too heavy. Look here. Here's some pot liquors. Little shit ears. I should take a shit and wipe my ass with them. <laughs> Dog up and go.
Let me wipe my butt. <laughs> this is Good Morning with Flo, eggs. Over 400 subs. I love y'all. Overnight. Did it overnight. Eggs, remember what I said last week? Remember what I said at the beginning of the week on my rant? With the... Everybody hand, ask, putting a hand out? Well... I lost five subs over that. I'm on the putting green. I lost five subs over that. And some 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 people that I really admire, um, probably saying, "How do you know?" Because I know what subs I have. Um, I know what hidden ones. Most of these weren't hidden ones. They were all subs I knew. Um, but like I said, I told myself that. Uh, I'm not going to say they're bad people subs, just a bad sub for my channel, okay? Um, and, I, and I said I would I would gather up, uh, I'd probably get over 400. I, I don't, you all know that I don't uh, push for subs and I don't, uh, it's no big deal. I mean, I do talk about it, it's because it gets bigger and you talk about it. But, you know, I don't go on people's channels and push push my subs. I push some videos, push some games and stuff. I like giving stuff away, stickers and stuff. All right, y'all. Where I'm at? If I had my selfie stick, I could do a bow here. Oh, wait a minute. I couldn't do a bow because he's in jail. He's on a hunger strike, y'all. You know what? Bow. When you get out, somebody needs to tell Bow to go to Flo's channel. Hey, Sinbad. Kiss my rear. Is, is this like your first time in here since you subbed me? I mean, I... I do appreciate your sub. I saw you sub me here a few weeks back or something. I was like, who's Sinbad? Bet she's got some cool ass haircut, carries a big sword around. Bow's a political prisoner. <laughs> hey you all, he's I'm telling you, he's dying in there. The food, he don't have no pandan Thai kitchen. Uh, to eat at. He don't, he eats all the time. He should be fat as hell. Bow, I know you watch this. You should be fat as hell. Look over there. That dude's bringing in pop and chips and all kinds of stuff, y'all. Let's see if anybody's texting me. God damn it. Man, I hate you, Sinbad. God damn it. I can't even sit on a fucking bench. And spiders crawling all over me, dudes. I hate you all. Y'all wish some crazy shit on people and then it happens. I can't even sit down. Damn it. Freak me out, dude. My pants are coming down. This battery's weighting my pants down. I'm losing weight. I'm sweating. Here's a sign. News Now Houston. Dave, here you go. You like signs. Here. Here's your one. This is an exciting stream, isn't it, Sinbad? Listen, come back tonight. Uh, we're going to play Guess That Riff number four, episode number four. Uh, I'm going to... Uh, uh, Y'all winners get Florida Flo Flo Hillbilly stickers. Um, if you haven't seen them, I'm going to show them to you right now. Since Sinbad hadn't seen them, I don't think, unless he's watching my videos... There you go. I keep on with me to show everybody where they can understand. And guess what? I know it's backwards. Where's Joe Black? Joe Black can spell fly to hillbilly quick. I think he's got it set up on his computer where you can just touch that keyboard. And... Y'all, I had that book in my back. I had this book. This is my notebook that I carry with me. 
you all, I carry a notebook with me in case I, um, in case I have to, um, uh, uh, make notes, uh, This is the Jeep. He thinks it's the coolest thing since hot butter. I'm not gonna look at it. I've already looked at it. That's the dude with the, uh, the gray Jeep with the thing on top of it. I'm gonna switch this around here so you can get a good little view at him. Yeah, he won. He won. Now I gotta send something all the way over to, to uh, the UK. Which I don't care. You don't matter to me. Uh, this game show is starting to be fun. Um, I got to be more creative. I need to throw in the uh, guest set intro. I need to throw one of those in really quick, like next week. Um, these prizes are getting to be where uh, it's costing me a little bit. So I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to develop these T-shirts pretty quick shouldn't be that bad you all it shouldn't be that bad all i want to do is break even i could i don't want to make any money a new quad ski costs the same as a jeep you know it is fun isn't it eggs i mean it's fun i i i would like to be able to, for everybody to be able to to uh live stream everybody and everybody see each other uh through a webcam um um you know maybe five people on one um you know how PMP does it, and that those guys do it. They'll have five auditors on one on one screen. Um, it'd be cool to have five people. Um, you'd be able to watch five people at least. Um, I talked about doing the, the team speak thing. You all, the uh, getting a team speak. What the hell are they jacking my jeep up in the air? Oh, they're getting a the little out of it. Okay, that was stupid of me. So far, my Jeep's the coolest Jeep on the lot. Uh, you all, weekend weekend playing that game is fun because everybody gets drunk, but damn, seems like I can get more people through the week or something. I don't know. What did you say? Steve Pender. Bears do it also. No, I did not know that. I did not know that. Damn it, that's a big pickup truck. Check out this big ass Dodge coming through here, y'all. Got a Cummings plate on the front. It's a big sucker. Man, this place is slower than a seven year itch, I swear. It's good that you get a dealership to do your stuff, but damn. Time on one of the price on changing the plugs. Uh, a brake job was two fifty here. Brake job down the road was one forty. So hundred and ten dollars difference. And those mechanics down there is just as good as these mechanics here. You can't tell me certifications this and that. Those other places have certifications too. I'm not I wasn't born. Probably going to do live stream for the first time with pot and otters going up, depending how it goes. Hey, uh, Dave, I appreciate you going up there and being with him uh, for his court date. Um, you can guarantee if I was still in West Virginia that I would be up there. I would be there. Uh, I would drive up there. Um, that'd be nice. Um, had, uh, I wish I was retired right now and had a full of cash. Wish I'd have started my life out smarter and put a lot more money back. That way I could be retired now and enjoy and drive around and, and play the stocks and been able to bank some money. But my parents didn't tell me how important it was uh, to do that. Um, um, yeah, we do. We do. Um, we do got to support. Um, I'm trying to do my share what I can supporting uh, moderators. Um, some some auditors. Um, I'm going to help out Pot uh, after you know I don't know a month or so. 
I don't care whether he pays his, I, I do care whether he pays his, uh, his lawyer off, but even if he's paid his lawyer off and we, everybody's ta he's taken care of, uh, I can always send him more cash. It don't matter. Um, just a thought. It's like a birthday present to me. Um, something somebody just enjoyed a half. Um, all right, take a test drive later. Felt, filter fell off two miles down the road. Gee, many Christmas. Y'all, my feet are peeling. Tops of my feet got burnt at a disappearing island uh, last weekend, or one, two weekends ago, wasn't it? It's ridiculous. Anyway. They better get my stuff right today. Leave out my damn plug. There's horns going off everywhere. So, uh, alarms. Damn, it's hot, Vegs. Man, it's hot. I'd go over my Jeep and put this book. If I wasn't live streaming, that I'd take notes and stuff about today's no news. Y'all know how I am. Um, and uh, here I am carrying this damn book around. What the hell is dudes looking at my Jeep for? They're like looking at the back of my Jeep for some reason. I don't understand. Y'all, I got... Uh, I don't know. Next weekend, I think I'm going to have to get a rear axle uh, uh, axle seal. All right, man. Go get the heavy lifting done. Get all the, get all your shit done you need to have done. You don't need to be with me. You be with me tonight. Go be with the chickens, gooses, and geeses, and all the other arm animal animals. Y'all heard my joke last night. I love farm animals. <laughs> wow, they wash vehicles out here too. You got a guy over here washing vehicle. It's real quiet over here right now. My Jeep's on the rack and there's nothing else in there. And they got a guy here washed. I would think they'd have a second vehicle in that bay over there. Um, I can't see who's that in now. I know Eggs is gone. Dave's having a party. Dave's having a party. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got four larkers in here. Sinbad, you still in here? I got, oh, now I got three. Three quiet folks. They may not be checked in with the flow channel. I hear you, buddy. I hear you. Uh, if you're wondering, I'm in Leesburg, Florida uh, right now. I'm getting my oil changed. At uh, Bill Bryan Chrysler Jeep Ram, and uh, this is about a half hour from the house, 40 minutes from the house. Um, I drive over here because I'm going to be moving over this way um, into the villages, um, and uh, here comes that dude with the Jeep. He's so cool. And those are so cool. If he's not cool. If he's cool, he'll walk over here and talk. If not, he's just gonna stand by his cool ass Jeep. Here's what cracks me up. 
And I, I know, when you start trail riding, you need things to get you out of, uh, out of predicaments. But I'd say if he had um, a little bit of lift, a little bit of tires and stuff, that um, he wouldn't need a high lift jack to shove on an axe. Um, he may be busting some trails. You all shovel an axe wise. There's no scratches on the side of that Jeep. That's what you look for. You, people with axes and hatches, you say, oh, well, they have um, that stuff to bust trails, but uh, they don't have scratches on their vehicle. It's just a bunch of garbage. No running boards on that Jeep. No running boards on. I guess they're done. They have it repaired. I think they're going Jeep shopping right now. That's where they're going. They're going out there Jeep shopping. I think it was just repaired or something. And uh, he waved. It was cool. He waved when he left. That's cool. It's awesome. Jeepers. Jeepers, jeepers. Uh, checking out my Jeep over there. Yeah, I'll take any free Jeep parts that y'all have. Um, any Jeep parts, and I'll pay the shipping. Anybody watching these videos later on, watching, there's only got three watching live stream, I'll take any Jeep parts. I got two Jeeps I can put them on. Anything you want to get rid of. LED lights. <laughs> Y'all, this is going to be my project for the next 10 years. I probably won't get rid of this Jeep. I'll keep it. It'll be my um, it'll be my running around Ocala Jeep. Um, I'm probably going to get something after I pay it off. I'm going to get something else. There's no doubt. I probably need to get something that I can go to work and back. Something small. Um, I don't know that I need a pickup truck. A little small pickup truck. I've owned one before. Um, you know, they're okay to have a uh, have a pickup truck. You know, you can haul mulch. You can haul stuff this and that um here comes a lady with her two dogs here comes the butt wiping dogs she looks like she's about 70. hi looks like they're ready to do their business uh yeah yeah you probably look here out that gate over there behind us vehicles yeah. There's low grass. That's high grass there. Okay. And you might watch the spider webs. I've been walking through spider webs going behind those uh, vehicles and stuff. But there, you found a post to pee on. Yeah. Come on, she smelled good. <laughs> Oh, you all. I have three lurkers in here. Oh, I got two lurkers in here. Sinbad and two lurkers. They're over there in the grass taking a dump. Dumping hammer. Hopefully I'm about done, you all. They just dropped it down. Still got the hood up on it. Hey, Sinbad, make sure you come back tonight. Sinbad, where are you at? What state are you in? Or are you in this country? Damn, I can feel the sweat running down my butt. The flow show and the sweat running in the crack. Where are you at? Location, locale. Uh oh, somebody new came in. In Canada, used to live in New York City. Well, I have been through, check this out. I have been uh, up I 79, up into, uh, what is that, Buffalo? It's Buffalo across the, uh, across the river, Niagara River, I guess, the falls. From uh, that's where I went. I went to Niagara Falls. Um, went. To, uh, we were headed to Toronto. All right, check this out, y'all. Here you go. We're headed to Toronto.
All right, that Jeep's backing in, but I want y'all to see this one coming up here. It's probably a little older than mine. Uh, here you go, check it out. Collapsible door, open doors. Rag top, open concept. It's a cool Jeep. I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah. But anyway, uh, Anyway, I went up to uh, Toronto, north of uh, five hours up to Toronto, and then we went uh, just north of Toronto uh, to Little River Lodge, I think it was, um, and fished in uh, Canada, my first trip to Canada. And then my s second trip to Canada was uh, to fish in Ely, Minnesota. Uh, the boundary waters there at uh, Basswood Lake. Um, I fished there, and then I went to um, I went to Saskatchewan, Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, uh, five hours north of uh, Saskatoon, to uh, the uh, the last road you get into the Northern Territory, um, uh, and bear hunted. I have a video, by the way, if y'all want to check that out. Send bad. Uh, it's called, uh, uh, it's a, um, oh man, oh man, I better go to the bathroom, y'all. I think I just shat my pants. Oh, good Lord. I'm struggling, I might, I'm gonna have to. You know to... use a garbage pail? Think right there in that yellow can right there. It'd be a good place to put that dog shit. <laughs> God, I love this shit. She just about ran in that curb. Watch her drop that dog shit in that can. She can't really drop that dog shit in that can. <laughs> no, there she, the gray one. Yeah, the gray one. Put it in the gray one, man. <laughs> Watch this. I'm, this is going to be funny, y'all. Oh, he's mad. He's like mad. I don't know why he's mad. She's got to transfer her stuff over to that vehicle. Don't be stupid, buddy. You're just stupid. You're sitting there bitching and griping and over nothing. You're getting, a, you're getting her a rental car. He's sitting there bitching, y'all. I wish you could have seen him. I got him on film. Audited of his ass. She was just trying to get her crack rock switched over and her beer and watch him stand there. Here comes that big uh there's that big dodge right there. It's a good looking dodge. Coast a sticker on the back. That's cool. Here this woman's going dogs are gonna run out in front of that blue truck over there and get hit. Zoom in a little. Okay, this dude's trying to drive by that old woman over there. She's got her dogs. There we go. More sirens. She's getting her rental car here, or a loaner car, while her other badass car is getting repaired. I don't like that blue. How interesting is this? People watching y'all. Fun, isn't it? <laughs> hey, this is for all those who don't get out. You know, I've got a lot of viewers that don't get out. Um, I appreciate them all. Um, I normally get the views on my videos, you all. Um, I appreciate everybody going and watching them. I normally get a few thumbs down. I normally get thumbs down from Odin, my buddy Odin. 
he's uh, always consistent and good for a, and that's okay. I love Odin. Uh, I have my trolls just like everybody has their trolls, and I could have developed them. Me being flow, but y'all know my true friends know how no flow. Um, try not to make any enemies. Try not to. Um, normally, the enemies that flow has, um, they bring it upon themselves um, by the things they say and the way they act in these servers. And then what cracks me up is they come in to another server that's somebody that they're trying to get on their side or whatever you would call it. Um, and then there's, you know, they call out lies and I'm this good, great guy. And we all can see through that. Everybody can see through that. Hey, there's Paul Ives, the guy that gave me his business card. I got to remember to get a business card from Ron. Ron's a shit, you all. I wish these guys quit honking these horns or interrupting my live stream. <laughs> you all, I got to take a leak. Okay, yes, sir, I'm going to get that right now. Okay. Vehicle's in great shape. You got a couple minor concerns. Um, dirty engine air filter. Uh, doesn't have a cabin air filter in that particular Wrangler. It just doesn't come with it. Um, but you do have the ability to put one if you ever feel like you want to filter out your AC. That's it. Um, battery's testing a little low. 346 out of 600. So keep an eye on that. Um, power steering fluid, brake fluid is dirty. Transmission fluid is due. We talked about that already. So you're coming up to your 100,000 miles soon. So um, that's it. Everything's in good shape. You just got maintenance due because of your mileage. Should I get a right. copy of that? Yes, sir. I'm actually uh, going to give you awesome. a copy right now. Now, did you quote me on the... Uh I was going to have you quote me on the, 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 the tune plugs. For the plugs, yes, sir. I'm going to get you that, too, and okay. I'm going to have this with that. Um, these are just the prices for all the maintenance for, for the vehicle, and that way yep. you'll have that. Uh, yeah. And that's it. Cabin filter. I don't worry about that. The engine air filter is $30. When you're, if you're ready to have that replaced, we carry those in stock. I'm just going to um, get on the road and pick one up. That's fine. You can, you, if you have one with you, we install them for free. We don't charge you stuff like that. I'll remember so. that for next time. All right. And uh, next I time, believe. like I say, I'll come in and I'll buy. I'll get the. Uh, I'll come and see you get the deal. Okay. Um, this is the. Um, your copy here. I'm going to get you the price of the tune-up on there. Uh, but you'll have that. Uh, 175 for the battery if you ever want yeah. to have this going. That's installed for the three-year warranty on the on Mopar battery. Okay. And those battery warranties are good at any Christ dealership. Okay. They're not just here. All right, that's good. Let me get you to put this back in. I'll be back to come get you. Okay. You heard that. You all, if I did the battery, power steering, uh, this, this old Jeep needs service, you all. It needs everything. This is ridiculous. I mean, it is that time, but... Power steering fluid, $109.95. I guess that's a flush and a change. A brake fluid, $150. Engine coolant, $150. Uh, this is ridiculous. 10,000 miles service.